is Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope. So yeah, Uranus continues to move far forward in your sign. And yeah, those of you who are April-born Tauruses, this is where the shake-up and the wake-up and the excitement begins. Especially if you're born between the 20th and the 25th. Those people are really, you're getting the shake-up right now. You're getting the wake-up, the shake-up. And if you live in the state of Jefferson, there might be a wake and bake-up. <laughs> You know, it's it's possible. Um, although I think now that cannabis is so available, especially in uh, California and Oregon, that, you know, I think people are like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm backing off just a little bit. And um, so Venus is moving into Virgo, and Venus is going to conjoin, rather try, not conjoin, but it's going to try in Uranus, later on this week or and so this unconventional kind of sexuality is permeating the year and it's like oh my gosh here I thought I was going to be celibate for a while and suddenly there's I'm getting come ons I'm getting takers I'm getting shocked you know and and so that could be part of the the mojo I mean let's, let's face it Jupiter in the seventh house is going to break out better relationships for you uh, especially if they're higher-minded spiritual people. On the worst end, they're going to be drunks and gamblers and spendthrifts. And so you got to kind of want to avoid those people in a lot of ways because they can erode what you have. But even with, um, you know, Saturn and Pluto, it's softer for you because that's in your ninth house. And so you're learning through transformation. You're learning through your limits. And um, you're learning that there's good fortune in this. Well, hello, Gemini, and welcome to your horoscope. You know, the moon will be 